Question. Bioavailability versus assimilation. These terms are pretty much used and misused interchangeably. Bioavailability and assimilation both describe the extent to which nutrients from diet are absorbed and utilized by the body. The terms are frequently misused in supplement advertising because the products being touted, although they may be absorbed, often may not be utilized at all by the body. The first question asks is if the supplement can pass through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. If not, then its nutrients are not being absorbed. This is usually the case for curcumin supplements. Few get absorbed. Some of these products still claim to be bioavailable even when they're not even being absorbed. The next question is to ask are these. Are the nutrients being utilized? Are the supplements soluble in water? Do they dissolve in water? Solubility of curcumin is critical because the male human body is 60% water, the female human body is 55% is water, bones are 31% water, the skin is 64% water, the heart and brain are 73% water, and muscles and kidneys are 79% water. If a supplement does not dissolve readily in water, it will be very difficult for the various parts of the body to use it. Biosoluble curcumin is the only form I know of which is highly soluble in water and readily utilized. Studies have shown that biosoluble curcumin even passes through the blood-brain barrier, which would allow for the curcumin to be more helpful with Alzheimer's and dementia. Remember, supplements ingested but unable to be absorbed and utilized during the digestive process are of zero nutritional value. Zero.